G'day, welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I'm here at the park today with the Cadex Ascent. Made the little backpack for it. You can see it there, little backpack. Oh, sorry, banging the camera. A little backpack there. And uh, on the Outlaw 250, sub 250 grams. I did have analog on here before. May include some analog footage for comparison, just uh, to see how this differs. And I've made a few modifications, of course, to the video goggles. Excuse me while I disappear. I have put some some foam as you might be able to see, we're not shine the sunlight in there, put some foam around here along the edges and along the top to block out the sunlight and also a little bit of foam underneath in the nose bridge area and it's much more comfortable and it's a much better um, removal of leaky light so I'm going to give that a try as well. Now I'm powering this with a 3S, 3S battery today and knots, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know let's try and untangle this um pairing it with a 3s battery i've got a little bit of setup to do to set up the power levels and stuff like that i haven't actually spent any time at all with this on the bench so i'll cut all the following bits out you'll never see what an idiot i am right i'm going to fly it first of all with the fpv goggles on top of my forehead so that i can take a dvr recording and make sure that the signal is strong enough to be used so Bear with me while I do that. We'll have a line of sight flight first. It's always best to be safe, isn't it? Let's plug things in, get going. A line of sight flight. Are we recording? We are recording. Let's see how this goes. This could be fun. Right, for some reason failed to record. I don't know what's going on. I must have messed that up a bit. Never mind. Let's have another go. See if I can do it again. <laughs> Hopefully this time I'll be recording. Just checking the goggles. <laughs> we are recording. Let's try it out. Try it out again. Here we go. Let's have another go. Have another go. It's a bit turbulent actually, actually there's not much wind but it is coming around all the poles and the trees and things, making things look bad. Go a bit further down, ooh bumpy down there, woo, <laughs> bumpy down there, let's have a look. Okay, that should do us. Birds are coming out to say hello, do a landing, and we'll fly with the goggles if that recording came out all right. I don't know if it did. Let's find out. Here we go. <clears throat> right. It looks beautiful through here, I've got to say, it does look beautiful. I could do with a little more padding on the nose to be honest. Still can't quite see that bottom OSD line, but <laughs> Ooh, HD. Here we go folks. Ah oh, yes. Now this is flying quite nicely. Someone with the dog, better get away from them. Probably couldn't have seen it with the analogue. I'm not noticing any significant latency here. I'm going to go further than I did line of sight, so hopefully we're not going to lose the signal. Ah, this is great. This is working very well. I'm impressed. For the money, I am impressed. Woohoo! <laughs> Excuse my shaky hands. Try and miss that person with the dog again. I've got a bit of breeze picking up now. Woo, yep, breeze coming in. Oh no, this is good. This is excellent for park flying. Oh, for fixed wing park flying, I couldn't, I can't complain about this. 
it is um, latency is not an issue. Latency is not an issue. And um, oh, brilliant, brilliant. I haven't had any signal losses, no vertical bars on the side or anything. It's just handling this perfectly. Keep away from the person walking their dog. Oh, lovely. Now this is, yeah, this is excellent for what I'm using it for. The park flyer and, and the quality of the image is truly good. I mean, this is an equal to DJI in terms of what I'm seeing in the visor and the box goggles. This is magnificent. I am impressed. Caddix, I am impressed. Truly, truly impressed. It's not easy to impress me. So, <laughs> love it. I'm loving this. This is really good. Oops, see I had my head pointed the wrong way. I still had plenty of signal. This is a small park and I am flying, you know, conservatively, but I don't notice latency. I haven't noticed any issues with signal and nothing to complain about really. My goodness. Ooh, it is a bit turbulent down here. I'll have to have more foam on the bottom of a nose bridge because I still can't quite see the bottom of the OSD. Well, that is fan bloody tastic. Fantastic, I've got to say, I cannot complain about this. Wonderful, bloody marvelous. How do I stop the recording? There we go. Ooh. So where's the where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was way out of out of range then. I thought, actually, I mean, I was looking for something to grizzle about, but I can't find anything. I honestly can't find anything. Thirty-five dollars for an air unit. If they keep that price, that'll be brilliant. Even if they go up to forty-nine dollars, forty-nine dollars is still a good buy if you're flying in a smaller area where you don't need the big range. But I had no issues with any kind of low signal, low bit rate, or anything during that little flight. Admittedly, I'm only going probably maximum of two hundred meters away, but in a park like this, that's all you need. The picture is excellent. Latency on fixed wing, nothing you can perceive. I can't perceive any latency. So, I mean, this is a slow, uh, this is a slow model, of course, so you'd expect to have very little uh, effect from latency, but it's, it's an enjoyable experience flying this. And for box goggles, these are actually giving me quite a good experience, except for one thing. Listen to this. That's the fan. She's not so flash, I'm afraid. <laughs> but hey, it is, and I'll put a bit more foam in the bridge of the nose. It was comfortable. I didn't hurt myself wearing these goggles today, so that's one concern I can dismiss. Um, oh, excuse me while I get down here. Uh, what was the other issue? Oh yes, I did find the place to, someone in the comments pointed out, there is a place to plug in that USB lead, so there is a place to update the firmware. That's brilliant. Um, so they know what they're doing. My mistake. Sorry, Caddx. But this, hey, I'm so glad I bought this. This is going to be such a useful little thing, because to be honest, um, these goggles are easier to backpack than my sky zones because I can just put them in raw and they don't take up much space. And I'm, I've got to admit, I have never actually enjoyed box goggles before, but this is, you know, not as good as real goggles, but it's pretty good. For the money, it's outstanding. I, yeah, got to say, if the, uh, if the rest, if they, if they now provide us with a slightly bit more powerful video transmitter, say they do it's a 500 milliwatt or a 1 watt transmitter on the system, I don't see any reason not to use it. I really don't. Bloody fantastic. Thank you, Caddx. I bought this with my own money, so I'm not greasing up to them. No sponsorship. <laughs> no free products here. Just telling you what I think.